We are making the Solnit Glazed Brussels Sprouts with Dried Cranberries and it's going to take your socks off. So we're cooking our way through the Happier Holidays cookbook and this is one of my favorite recipes from that book. This is a basalmic glazed Brussels sprouts and we toss it with dried cranberries. They are so good. Now, I know a lot of people think they don't like Brussels sprouts, but I would almost guarantee you that's because the only way they've ever had Brussels sprouts is when somebody just boiled the fire out of them. They ended up mushy and they ended up sulfurous. We're going to roast these, which is going to caramelize them. It's going to make them nice and sweet. I knew Boo Dan was going to start talking. <laughs> Can you give me just a minute, Boo? Just a minute. Good boy. All right, this first part only takes a second, so we'll see if we can get through this and I can get to boot in. All right, so I've got about three pounds of Brussels sprouts, and they're really easy. All you do is cut the little stem end off and then cut them in half. And on occasion, you're going to find a little tiny one. You want your sizes to be about the same so that they roast at the right, you know, at the same rate, right? So they all get done at the same time. And to this, we're just going to add about a tablespoon and a half of kosher salt. About a, no, it's not a tablespoon. Ricky, come on, dude, get with the program. It's a teaspoon and a half. And it's a teaspoon, what you do the dog? No. Teaspoon of black pepper. And we're just throwing this in here. And then we've got olive oil. Don't worry about using extra virgin olive oil. Save that for when you're not gonna cook with it, okay? Because cooking destroys some of the volatile oils in the olive oil. So you're, you're spending your money when you don't need to. So now we got fire sirens out in the background. That's a ways away. I hope everybody's all right. Okay. 375 degree oven. Did I say that? And this is all you do. And I've had people say, what do you do with the leaves that come off? You don't worry about them is what you do. Those get extra crispy in the oven. And it's almost like having like a little potato chip. They do taste a lot like kale chips, I will say. I think one of the triumphs of my mother career, whatever you call that, is that my children love Brussels sprouts. Most of them. Ricky's not saying much of anything at the moment. <laughs> How about most of my children love Brussels sprouts? Ricky just woke up. Fallout 4 came out this week. If y'all hadn't noticed, we haven't shot videos since Tuesday. Now you know why. Aren't you supposed to be going with that if it's Fallout 4? Oh, ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. I'm a cool mom. I understand your cultural references. <laughs> okay, 375 degrees. And it's going to be 30 minutes. Now, while those are in the oven, we're going to get our basalmic reduction started, okay? So we're going to, over here in this pot, all I have is a cup of sugar. There's nothing to see, son. See, there's nothing to see. It's a cup of sugar and three quarters cup of basalmic vinegar. And again, we're going to be cooking this down to about half. We want it to get nice and thick because we're going to glaze our Brussels sprouts with it. So don't go spending your money on the really high quality basalmic vinegar. I mean, you don't want to get the cheap, generic $2 for the half gallon. You don't do that. But but don't blow your money on something that's, that's really exceptional, okay? Because you're just going to cook all the good out of it anyway. But when you do cook balsamic vinegar and you reduce it, it turns into this heavenly, syrupy, sweet, fabulous thing. And when you combine that with that, that rich, heady, slightly bitter thing of the Brussels sprouts, yeah, it's magic. What, is it your turn on fallout? All right, we got 30 minutes to wait. I'm just gonna stir this and let this reduce by half. Ricky's gonna go deal with that game and we'll be back in a minute. Okay, we're filming. Okay, wait a minute. I've got something on my arm. My cranberries. I took one. Shut up. <laughs> All right, I'm filming. Remember what I told you about the outside leaves of the Brussels sprouts are almost like potato chips? I take that over a potato chip any day. They are so good. I like potato chips better. Well, that's because you're 18. It's because I have taste buds. Hey, look, Reverend, that's enough out of you. <laughs> Did I tell y'all that Ricky's ordained now? He's a minister. <laughs> he got online the other day, <laughs> and I think he had seen something, was it, was it Orange is the New Black, where the guy had gone online and got ordained? 
Oh, I just looked it up. Oh. So I guess now we have to we have to call him the Reverend Ricky. So honestly, I'm not sure any marriage that you perform would be valid anywhere. So but I did get kind of tickled. Alright. So this is our love that. Our our <laughs> wow. That's the basalmic. And all I did was let it stay at a slow simmer the whole time that these were roasting. So this was a total of uh, 30 minutes. And then over here, I've got a cup of cranberries. And I'm going to take all these beautiful, look at that, look how nice it is. So there's another. <laughs> I love that. Love it. So I took all of those, and they're going to go right into my bowl with my, whatever those are, cranberries. Oh shoot, I lost one on the counter. Now, the reason I went ahead and I transferred this, A, it's incredibly hot. That would burn because of the sugar in there. I really don't want to get that all over me. And because I'm so graceful <laughs> and never have issues with pouring or spilling or dropping stuff, I wanted to give myself something with a spout and a handle. Oh no, that one needs to be. Right there. You gotta try those. It's so much better than you would ever believe they would be. Now, these are almost ready to go. Take our basalmic glaze. Can you wait, can you see how thick that got? Oh, I know. Look, check this out. See how well it coats the back of the spoon. Mm. And when you do this, I know a lot of y'all are probably sitting there going, Vinegar, are you crazy? Trust me, because the first few minutes, you have to be very, very careful not to breathe the steam, because vinegar, when it's boiling, it like shuts down your respiratory system, so don't breathe it. But after that, the sugars begin to develop, and it is so incredibly good. It's just amazing. So, like, if you taste that right there, you won't be sitting there going, ooh, vinegar. It's delicious. If you think about sweet and sour pickles or you know anything with that combination of flavors, that's what that is. But there's really not even very much sour left to it. And I think I'm gonna add just a little bit more of the glaze. And if you're making this to, to serve at a table, ah, see, that's why I need help. If you're making this to serve, probably wanna transfer it to a pretty, a pretty clean dish. However, I am going to get a plate. Hang on just a second. Somebody needs to get in here and do dishes. I don't know where all the plates are. Hush. <laughs> they're in the sink. What are you talking about? Yeah, they're all in the sink. See, look, I'm not even touching that, and I'm still dripping on the counter. All right. So our basalmic glazed Brussels sprouts with cranberries. Oh, and I want to give a shout out to my friend Barry. Thank you for letting me know that when I first published the cookbook that I listed dried vinegar in the recipe instead of dried cranberries because I was happily going on letting that be out there. And I'm glad you saved me from looking like even more of a dip than I can be on occasion. All right, so if you have found this useful, I know, I need to clean the edge of my plate. If you have found this useful, please do me a favor, give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. If you have a question, ask it in the comments below and I'll do my best to get to you just as soon as I can. I have a Facebook page, I'm on Twitter, I've got a Patreon page if you really wanna help me out. And Happier Holidays, the cookbook to eat, drink, and stay merry is now live on Amazon and I think for the next few days it's even free. So hop on over there and download that and you'll have this recipe and the other 200 seven this however many there are okay so our basalmic glazed ah i missed brussels with cranberries mm. food shouldn't be that good man it's good mm.